We have a plan. We'll capture a river merchant's caravan and use their tugboat to infiltrate the bridge. But, since the caravan isn't here yet, the colonel gave me the go-ahead to get the passenger carriage Katya told us about. To do that, I first need to go to the terminal and get Crest railcar from there. It might be a good time to explore the surroundings. Hello everyone, Shadevire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. This is episode 6. So, last time, as Artyom said there, we did convince Miller to let us take the passengers with us. But, we're kind of free to explore, and as I learned last time, this big angry fish will not necessarily destroy our boat just for being in the water. It is, however, very determined to try to kill me on land. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if I can get rid of this red haze if I have enough to make a med kit. Um, yeah, I do. Make a few of those. So we also met a few of the... Techno... I was gonna say technophiles, but that would be the opposite. Technophobes who did not attempt to kill us immediately, and were, you know, kind of polite when I didn't flash them in the face with my evil flashlight. Alright, so what do I got? I got the T-Har, I've got the AK, and I have the revolver. Oh. Well, I don't think I'm going to get out of this spot by boat, because this guy is just going to hang around here. So let's see, where are we on the map? Okay, down in this area, so I don't really need the boat. So I think I can just walk over here. No, maybe not. Yeah, I think it's too deep for me to just walk across here. But I might actually need the boat. I think we're on a little tiny island with this clinic. The fish is starting to wander off, so should be able to get across now. But yeah, since I've discovered that he's not going to immediately attack my boat, no matter where I am, that means we can go back to the other side where the church is and actually explore some of those areas too. Because I mean, there were boats around there, but I didn't want to take them because I thought we were just shit out of luck until the fish is gone. wearing a gas mask right now? I was like, this green seems a little glassy. <laughs> Alright, does the map actually record where I leave my boats? I think it does. Where are we now? Okay, we haven't been over in this area... yet. I also haven't marked any of the locations on the top area, so it might be worth doing that if we go back to the train. I bet there's some good stuff around here. And probably some more of those humanimals. <laughs> I really should probably bring a shotgun with me, because... Oh, hello. <laughs> Let me just take your leg. I was gonna say, the shotgun actually does do bonus damage against mutants. So it's worth always kind of having on you when you're dealing with areas where you're gonna have mutant nests. Though I haven't had much luck with shotgun ammo, but I guess I can make some. I just have to find a good supply of cams. Oh. Sounds like bandits. No, I didn't even realize I found a standard barrel last time. Let's put the suppressor on. Extended magazine. Hmm. I don't know if we need the extended one right now. We don't even have enough to fill it. 
or my regular magazine. So we're going to switch to stealth here because there is a bandit base. Okay, my T-Har is fully pumped. So it would have been better to do this at night, but I forgot that this is one of the places they pointed out as being a stronghold. Huh? Who the fuck is that? Nobody. So I don't know if this game still gives you negative moral points for just killing human enemies. That would seem kind of brutal considering how many there's going to be in this game compared to the previous ones. It's not like I can just go around punching everybody, but I'm not sure yet. It might just be that I'll have to deal with getting the bad ending the first time. if I can get in through here. No, this is not Far Cry. I keep forgetting Far Cry is the one where you can punch through wooden like blockages. I guess I can get in through here. Better luck at it than this guy did. Okay, he's going to see me and I'm going to punch him. Still no way to hide bodies, though. Oh, nope. Just wanted the ammo. Alright, now we got a full mag. Guy right there. Maybe this rain will make it easier to sneak. Just want to quickly scan through here so I don't have to backtrack. I think they spotted one of the downed guys. Also, are subtitles still on? They are. I guess I'm just not close enough to these guys. Man, the lightning really fucks with your... like, light settings. I think it's because I'm kind of indoors and kind of outdoors in these trains. I hear a lot of yelling coming from inside. I feel like I should turn up the brightness just a little tiny bit, if that's even an option. Uh, there's Gamma. That just might help over sneaking in dark areas like this. Alright, so nothing else in those cars. seem like there's really anyone outside. There's a guy up there. They might have retreated inside in the rain. Okay, they still know I'm here. I don't know where they are, though. I mean, there's that guy there, but I think there's still another one. Sounds like Uncle Bourbon. Uncle Bourbon. I think it was down below. Oh, there's a guy. What the fuck is this? I do like that 
you do have a moment to punch them out. They don't just instantly alert everybody, like they did in Metro 2033. Where everyone knew where you were the second somebody spotted you. Or even heard, like, glass crunch under your feet. Alright, well, this is going good so far. Haven't gotten shot at yet. I think I've pretty much cleared the perimeter, but let's check the back here, too. Okay, there's a sneaky way in there. I like how I'm like, oh, I'm not killing these guys, but they're probably going to get eaten by mutants before they wake up. We are now successfully clear on this side, or on the whole outside. I don't know how to get up there. I guess I can climb up. So I can either go in through the top, or I can sneak in through the gap. I think I'll just go through the gap. Because it seemed like there were guys upstairs, but maybe not down here. See a foot. I thought I need my mask here because he did a little gasp, but I think that was just from sprinting. You know, for LP purposes, it'll be nice when I get the night vision. Because then when I sneak, I can actually see what I'm doing, and so can you. I think one of them went in here. Or over here. I hear footsteps. There she is. I don't know how this guy didn't hear it. Don't think I can put that torch out. You know, all they need is some bandit radio playing, and this could totally be a stalker bandit base. That didn't sound very suppressed. Whoop. I hear a roaring outside, too. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't take him long to forget. Alright. So we are getting a decent amount of shells, and I think that might have been the last guy. Now oh, there's still a few off in the distance. Okay, some more supplies. So is this... Did I read this wrong and it's actually just a flash suppressor or not an actual suppressor? Yeah, it's a flash <laughs> suppressor. Oh. Uh, oh no, I do have a suppressor, I just didn't equip it. I forgot to double click. Alright, now I have a suppressor. Can I open this? Nope. Is this the passenger car we're gonna steal? I don't think it is. Now it's in the middle of the map. Still, it's definitely worth looting these guys. I mean, this looks like it could just as easily have been a base in Metro 
one of the other Metro games. You know, a bunch of bandits living in a train, sitting in a tunnel. Okay, I think there might only be one guy left up top. Not sure what that roaring is, though. Sounds like something bigger than just a uh, shrimp. Actually, that guy sounds pretty far away. Let's get up here. Not gonna do much sneaking in the middle of the day like this. You know, I like how clear this game is. It's a weird thing, but just like... Everything looks so clear from up here in the middle of the day. Oh, there he is. Did he surrender and then just walk away? Excuse me, sir. I need to accept your surrender. He did walk away. <laughs> oh, splatted that shrimp, baby. That's right. Lay it down. Even your buddies can have a laugh about this later. The ones that are still alive. No, I don't want your shotgun. Just wanted the stuff from it. Alright. So I think that went pretty well. Didn't really get spotted. Too much. I don't know how to put this thing away without pulling out a gun. And we just loot the spoils of our little battle here. Can I hop up here? No. It seems a little weird sometimes what you can jump on and what you can't. Nope, still didn't want the gun. Just wanted that mushroom. Well, I'm getting plenty of new weapons parts, it looks like. But yeah, the AK is not really the ideal suppressed weapon. It's too inaccurate to really stealth take down people. I mean, I'm sure I could mod it to be more accurate, but I think it would be better just to use, like, the revolver for stealth kills. The roaring might just be the fish, but... Let's see, it's coming from my right to the north, so that might be the fish. Okay, so that's all cleared out. Let's check up here. I wonder how that guy ended up all the way over there, because I think that was the guy that was up here. Okay, some parts. Smoked fish, JPEG jars, all the good stuff in the post-apocalypse. They still need to find some gasoline. Because we found that one generator that I couldn't do anything with. Anything up top here? Also, 
All right, well, we found out what happened to Katya's husband. I don't know what I need that for. I mean, that just seems like I can... Oh, almost took some fall damage there. This just seems like I can go in the front door. Yeah, that's another sign that it doesn't translate. I guess it's only literal signs, not like graffiti. Oh yeah, that's the fish right there. And we got another building marked on the map here. Or I can go this way. I think I'll go up first. If I can, of course. Oh, I could, really, I can climb over that, but I couldn't climb over the actual, like, wall. Oh. It's always hard to tell when I should be putting on my mask. It makes the beep, he starts gasping, and then I'm already out of the area. Okay, we got, like, uh... I was gonna say the power station, but I think that's just rebar. I don't know what this is. Probably more bandits. Again, doing this in the middle of the day, probably not the best idea. But as long as they stay out of sight, you know, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. Nothing to see over here, pal. <laughs> reaching his arm through this window to fish through the locker. See, I would like to, like, spy on these guys, but I can't get close enough to hear their conversations. Alright, well, I should have plenty of Chemicals to craft ammo now. Okay, we got one up there. One in the front taking a smoke. I guess these areas are actually a little more destroyed than most of the buildings in Stalker. Which makes sense because this is a nuclear apocalypse and that is not. I mean, Stalker is not even an apocalypse, it's just a localized destruction event. It's chopped his chin. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could hide bodies, but... I guess it's not really that important. It's not like they know where you are when they see the bodies. I mean, really, they shouldn't even know if it's a person that killed them. Could have just as easily been taken out by a mutant. Um, alright. Just clipping through this rubble. I also wish I could peek around corners. I mean, you can sort of... Not really. I guess you can sort of pop out if you aim. Oh, it's... it's like a very armored guy up there. Or not. I guess that's just winter gear. Even this just looks really good. I don't know, sometimes I just have to stop and notice. It's not like anything particular looks amazing by itself. It's just that all of it is so detailed that it just kind of blends together in a good way. I'm not really sure how I put these fire out. I guess I just pour water on it. Oh, we got a helmet here. That might be an upgrade. I mean, it's obviously an upgrade. It's an orange circle. So, I don't know what kind of upgrade that is for our helmet, but it will do something when we get back to a workbench. 
Or maybe I have to go back to the Aurora for that one. For gear changes like that. Thankfully, these guys up top are not really looking down. Hey man, what's up? Get up. Oh, somebody spotted one of the people I knocked out. I don't know who saw me, but let's uh, not stay here and find out. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to shoot into the sun there. If I can get up top, I'd have a good advantage here. But I'd also probably be kind of hanging out in the open until I get there. Not a lot of cover up here. No, you yeah, not a lot of solid cover. I got the big spin. Fuck! Guys, cover me! Got to reload! Fucking drops! I really need to make another med kit. I think I got all the guys that are up here, so let's do this real quick. I might have made too many. I mean, I need a couple extra. Okay. I think there's only two of them left. I just hope I notice the fucker first. Can't see through these weeds. I see the fucking bastard! Some bitch is there! Got like a sniper pistol there. I think I got a long barrel. Okay, well I could just escape, but there's more goodies to be had here if I can avoid getting shot. Okay. Oh wait, that was a. Kind of foolish jump. Can I get up here? See, this is what I mean about it's kind of inconsistent about what it lets you climb. Like, it looks like I should be able to pull myself up on there. I think I saw, like, a switch there. That was like a locker. I wish I knew where these guys were. They know where I am, but <laughs> can't find these last two. Oh boy. Whoop. That, that was a shotgun. I wanted to sneak up and just punch him. Since now I'm, like, uncertain about whether I should be killing these guys. Guys, that bitch is here! I wish I could drop down on one of them, take him out like that. Man, look at the scatter on this gun. It's also very dirty though, so that might be part of it. Nope. I really gotta stop. Picking stuff up instead of stripping it. All right, let's see if I can get this this time without falling all the way off. Oh, can I drop down here? I think I can kind of fidget my way down without taking fall damage. I see the fucking I was hoping if I shoot this guy, he might surrender, but 
He doesn't seem to want to shoot me or surrender. What did he kill me with? He was reloading. I think he punched me while I was jumping. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking shoot these guys. I was trying to be, you know, less murderous, but they have it coming. Guys, the fuckers Guys, here in Dinahui! Dinahui yourself, fucker. Starting to groundhog day it with this picking up this gun. Boy, I wish there was an option though to turn off the uh, hold down key for everything instead of just press it. Should probably use the T har since it's easy to make more ammo for. Might be able to creep up on this guy now. Hey guy, what is up there? Wow, he's got a lot of armor. <laughs> Not that it did him much good. And now he's gonna die even though I didn't kill him, because his mask came off. <laughs> Fucking hell. That was the shotgun again. Just standing behind a pillar waiting for me. Well, always the last one given up. Not that I have a complaint about that. What is that sound? Something is stuck in a puddle and it's just vibrating aggressively. I think it was this guy's helmet. <laughs> I also like that their light, like, explodes when you punch them. Alright. That is another stronghold clear. And so that has a skull on the map, which means it's just an enemy, like, nest or bandit base. And I guess those are usually places that have weapons or weapon mods. Which we did get a sweet pistol mod, I think. But I'm not sure if there's anything else to search here. Pretty sure we cleared it out. So you could say that I guess they got a little bit of Far Cry DNA in Metro now, considering there's outposts to clear. Though, you know, obviously they feel a bit more organic and not just every place has two alarms that you can destroy and, you know, certain classes of enemies. Alright, so... Start heading east again. I think there was one of these crates I didn't search. Yeah, this is the one where I reached in. So how are we doing on supplies? We got 202 mechanical parts, but only 56 chemicals. Because I used a lot of my medkits. Alright, well, let's make some more Tihar ammo. Uh, what did I get? Got a laser sight for my... AK. Heavy stock for the pistol. So that would be good if I wanted it to... You know, use it as a sniper. Well, I guess the sniper stock would be better. Though apparently the heavy stock is better, because the stability goes way up. And it doesn't seem to have a penalty for using it. So, standard barrel, long barrel. Long barrel does a lot more damage. And apparently the reflex sight makes it do more damage. Some of this modding stuff is a little weird in this game. For what it actually affects. Oh good, we finally got a fucking better cylinder. And it's double action, so we don't have to pull the hammer back every time. Alright, now our revolver is pretty good. And of course we didn't get anything for the TR, because it's kind of rare. Okay, so our revolver is already fully loaded, and we are ready for adventure. 
And I'm going to make a quick save just in case. I feel like you sometimes have to double mash jump in order for him to actually grab something. Alright, so let's head into this train yard. I bet it's full of bandits as well, since this seems to be the bandit zone. I guess this just leads back the way we came. Probably not going to be much in these fuel tankers. And this is the train I already searched. Grab a few more. I guess these guys all woke up. All the ones I didn't kill. But that's alright, because I got what I needed from them. Which is all their stuff. Alright. So, I'm not going to be able to swim through here. Is that... Okay, that's a different crane than the one we saw before. Oh. Okay. So the teddy bear is around here as well. Okay, this looks like it's one of the little bases. Something was making a wet foot slapping sound over here. Blood suckers. Sounds like we got more watchers over here. Well, I'll take them over bandits. They're a lot easier to deal with because they can't shoot you. Okay, so we got another workbench here. Got a collage with some more parts. So I have a feeling we're probably not going to find many new weapons in this area. Considering it's only the first area. And there really aren't that many guns in this game. I mean, unless there's some that aren't listed on the site. It seems like they've heavily narrowed down the number of guns from the last game. Or even the first one. You know, there's no Kalash 2012, for example. Though there is a new assault rifle that basically replaces that. And it'll be our better Kalash. Alright, so what do we pick up for our mask? We got a reinforced helmet. Just a little more armor. Always worth having. Gas mask is at full. Nothing for our other stuff yet. Our guns are all filthy again. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good on ammo. I got a lot of revolver ammo. A grenade would be handy. All right, I'm gonna clean off this collage a little bit. Or just fully, you know what? Could use a good cleaning. It means we're gonna be short on chemicals again, but can always find more as we've seen. All right. I think we're going to need to uh, call it here soon, because I think we've been going for an hour already. And all I did was clear two bases. Oh, those are rabbits. Their footsteps are very loud, but they are pretty big rabbits. I think they called any reinforcements with that. Oh. I think I'm just hearing the rabbits again. 
Okay, so I think I can kind of hop my way across these. Because I don't know how much this ice is actually walkable. Looks pretty cracked down there. Yeah, these things don't really do fatal damage at this range. <laughs> at least not against mutants. They got thick skulls, you know? So when you get that double set of lines on your hit marker, it's a headshot. Revolver sound pretty mean right now. Still not very good at this range, though. Wait till he gets closer. I mean, there can't be too many of them left over here, right? He doesn't seem to want to fight me. Waiting for an opportunity to... Sneak up. Alright. I think we're clear. I'm glad that all these padlocks are so fucking fragile in the future. July the 5th. It seems that Roman, even though he spoke ill of our Holy Father Salantius and was punished for that by God, was right about one thing. We have to not simply fight the demons of electricity, but get rid of all the remains of the god-awful technology that attracts them. How do we go about finding them? A metal detector seems to be the only way. I'll have to go back to using technology, the worship of which I cast away so long ago. Lord, forgive me for this sin. August 25th. This place will do. Even if I am punished for the sin of technology worship, at least the innocence will be spared from divine retribution. I have all the materials and knowledge I need, so I am starting my work with a prayer. August 28th. The detector is running. With God's help and while reciting a prayer constantly, I was able to clear a large passage of our cloister's holy ground from all the vestiges of technological heresy. It ended up being a substantial haul of scrap metal. Our blacksmith would be overjoyed to get it, but you just can't use things obtained through heretical means... So I had to throw it all into the river. So speaketh the Lord through the mouth of Salantius, the holy sage. There is no forgiveness for those who would seek to use the accursed technology, no matter what their purpose would be. I didn't heed these words, and thus was punished for this folly of conceit. The accursed mutants got a jump on me. I can't stop the bleeding, feeling colder by the minute. You, who will read these scribbles, do not repeat my mistakes. Do not try to fight evil with evil. Take the satanic garbage I have collected here and the fruit of my ill-advised labor to the house of the fish. The fish will protect our sanctuary from this taint of technology and electricity. Amen. Well, sounds like he's got some shit here for me. Thanks, holy man. Also, I feel like a metal detector would, wouldn't really be necessary here because, hey look, there's fucking metal every two feet. Oh, what is this? Some kind of... Is that a watch, I guess, to put on our wrist? I guess Artyom doesn't have his actual watch anymore. He only has the gas mask watch. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we can get to that crane. Oh, into the weeds. Seems like I could walk across these pipes, but I don't think I can just walk up them. I think I can get back by walking across the pipe, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, I got a safety spot marked here. It's 
Gotta make sure not to fall in, because if I do, there's not going to be anywhere to climb back out. Still more to mark on my map. Yeah, I think we got everything over here. And there's a few more markers. Well, we're almost at the teddy bear. I do like that you get to do some actual kind of junk platforming to get on top of these places. Because you couldn't really do something like that in Stalker. I think this is just another safe spot. Oh, what is this? I've got three Kalash mods. I mean, this doesn't seem like a bad place to use as your hideout, considering it's, uh, kind of connected to everything, but distant enough that nothing could get here. Alright, let's see what those mods I got were. Okay, so nothing for the revolver, but we got a semi-grip stock. Which is less accurate, but more stable. We also got a long barrel and compensator. Which is not good for close range, but good at long range. I think I'll put that on. You know, if we get into a close range fight... Or going into a base or something, I'll switch it back to the short one. But if I want to pick off mutants here... Oh. Either there's someone living there, or there was. Looks like we can also get on top of there with... What is that? Is that... A tent? Or some kind of fleshy structure? Well, I think we're going to have to call it an episode, because I could just keep exploring for hours. <laughs> Sorry, let's just see quickly if there is a ladder up here, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, nope, this is where the teddy bear is. Alright, looks like we can just climb up fairly easily. Ooh, what is that? It's bad news is what it is. Sounds like there might be some watchers up here. I hear some chewing sounds. I think I'll switch to my revolver. Kind of my best close range firepower here. Is that a demon nest? Oh. Right, because she said a demon took it. Well, I've already killed one demon. Ugh, what is this nest made out of? There's the teddy bear. So I could probably get it and get out of here without being noticed. 
without being noticed. D does it even see me? Does it care? Um, what's going on with this arm here? <laughs> it's a good stretch. So let me guess, it's only gonna pick a fight with me if I take what I came for. Yes, hello, can I help you? Don't start none, there won't be none. Ah, tricked you, bitch. Oh no. No, Artyom, don't- don't cutscene. Please. Him just casually standing there getting slapped by a demon. Anything in your nest? Oh, what was it even eating? Alright, well. It's time to, uh... Take that, too. Exit. Stage right. <laughs> Where did the demon go? Hmm? I guess he just kind of fucked off. Anyway. That'll do it for episode 6 of Let's Play Metro Exodus. So obviously we didn't do much story stuff, or any, but, you know, I think we're making some good progress across the map here. Filling out all these zones, and you might think that, oh god, this is going to take forever. And you're not completely wrong, but remember that there are only like four maps in the game, so each of them is probably going to take a significant chunk of time. Anyhow. I've been Shadefire, this is Metro Exodus, and I hope you'll join me on my adventure next time, where we continue to scavenge and get closer to our actual objective. But until then, take care everyone.